Hey guys, as some of you may know, I am on my gap year now. It's technically a nine months break, but I call it a gap year anyways. And I'll be entering uni this September. Since I'm gonna study molecular biology in uni, my cousin very kindly gave me this book called The Fundamentals of Organic Chemistry, which is very important for my course. And I wanna complete the book before uni starts, so I have around four months to finish the book. Hopefully I can do that. So for today's video, I will be showing you how I take my textbook notes in Notion. And I'll break this video into two parts. Firstly, I'll show you how I set up the page in Notion, and then I'll show you how I take the textbook notes in Notion. Of course, the method to take a notes can be a bit different if you're doing a different subject, but here, I just want to show you my way of doing it in Notion, and hopefully you will find this helpful. This is also my first video on Notion, just to show you one aspect on how you can use Notion to organize your life. Notion is a really great app for students, as it helps to better manage your life, if you're new to Notion, there are a bunch of videos on YouTube that you can find. I'll be making more videos on Notion myself that will be coming later this year, so make sure you stay tuned for those. And lastly, before we start the video, I just created a Twitter account very recently and I've been posting some Notion content on there. If you're interested in those, make sure to follow me on Twitter and yep, let's get right into Notion. So I've created a new page in Notion, and let's name this the Fundamentals of Organic Chemistry. And I'll give it an icon and a cover. Okay, so my plan for this is I just want it to have a very simple layout. So probably like a gallery view for all the chapters. First, let's create a table view. Now, Create a new database. Let's name this chapters. And I'll rename the column to chapter name. And let's rename this column to chapter number. Let's edit the property to make text. And we have 17 chapters in total. Okay, so 17 chapters, and then I'll change the property to select. Okay, now it shows 1, 2, 17. Alright, so let's create a new column for a difficulty. Okay, let's change the property to select. And I'll add an option, easy, it's alright, and hard. Let's change the color to red for heart it's all right it will be yellow and easy will be green okay um maybe not hard but challenging and then i want a new column for start date let's change the type to date Drag this over here okay and let's make the page to full width I'll just add the chapter name to the column and I'll just speed this up to when I'm done with it. Okay, so I filled in all the chapter names and now let's create a new view. I want a gallery view. This is how it would look and I'll add a sort, sort by chapter number and ascending. So it'll be number one, two, the end will be 17. And I'll just hide the database title, this as well. Chapters, okay. Now looks kind of empty, so I want to add a cover image to every single chapter over here. So let's go to layout. And for the cart preview, let's change it to page cover. And I'll just skip to the end when I'm done with all of this because it'll take some time to find and add the cover images. All right, so now the page looks much better with the covers on and I've also added a review date. So we have first review, second review, and third review. 
so whenever I review the chapter, I can just add a date to it. So I think I'm done with the setup. This might not be the final version of the page because I haven't used it to take my notes yet, but I'll just make some changes along the way if I need to. And for the note taking part, I'll just add a voiceover to explain what I'm doing. So I realized I didn't quite explain it well in the video on why I do certain things during the setup. So I just want to add this in here to quickly explain it. Basically what I'm trying to achieve is something that looks like this. So when I look at the gallery view, there will be a chapter number property to know which chapter it is, a start date to know when I started on the chapter, and a difficulty property to show how hard I feel the chapter is. So whenever I wanted to review the chapter, I could look at the difficulty and let's say this chapter is challenging, then I'll click into it and select the review date as today, and I'll start my review on that chapter. So I have my screen set up in a split screen view. Um, Notion is on one side of the screen and the textbook is on the other side. So firstly, I copied down and outlined all the subtopics in the chapter. I then added a question subheading to write down all the things that I didn't fully understand or needs review on. Then I created a table of contents for a quick navigation to all the subtopics and to make it look a bit nicer, I decided to use a callout block and move the table of contents into the callout. I then realized that I should probably create a page template so I won't have to do the same thing again for the following chapters. So I went into chapter two and clicked on create a new template and basically typed in all the stuff I did in chapter one. So next time I can just click on the template and all the information will just load up. Now that all the setup is actually done, I started reading through the textbook. So the method that I'm using here is that I quickly read through the whole chapter to get an overview on what the chapter is about before reading it in depth. And here you can see me scrolling back and forth to kind of know what to expect from the chapter and try to relate all the subtopics together to the whole chapter. Then I took my iPad out and imported the textbook PDF file into Notability to highlight and make annotations on the textbook. And here I'm reading through the textbook in detail and I'm making some highlights and annotations along the way. I like to annotate and draw diagrams on the iPad whenever I take my notes because it helps me to better understand the material. For today's video, I don't want to focus too much on the iPad part because this is a Notion video, so I'll just leave the iPad part for maybe another video. And after all the readings and annotations, I finally started taking down the notes in Notion. So what I do is I look at the highlights and annotations that I make on my iPad and I write down the points that I feel is important. I also try to write down the notes in my own words as much as possible so I don't fall into passively summarizing the textbook, which is what I usually do in the past where I just copied down all the stuff from the textbook and never read the notes again. So to be more actively engaged when I'm taking the notes, I always try to ask myself questions and try to link the points and figure out how each concept relates to the bigger picture. Here I'm also adding some diagrams to it as well as it helps me to better visualize the concept alongside my notes. You'll also see me use the toggle icons a lot which allows you to store information under the toggles. So the toggle icon makes it easier for you to group information together and it also makes your note looks neater as well. And also the toggle icon can be used in a way to test yourself so I could write down the questions on the toggle and keep my answers within the toggle. Um, this is what I did for my revision notes in the past, where I just have toggles within toggles to test myself. And here's one example of it on the screen here. And this is my bio revision notes in high school. You can see here I basically only use toggles for the whole page because it's really just that useful. So next time when I'm reviewing the chapter again, I could go over the toggles and try to remember the information that is hidden beneath the toggle. 
and the rest are just the same stuff over again where I just re-highlight, annotate, um, take down the notes and write down some questions for myself. Yeah, that's basically how I take my notes. I think it's a very simple method. It works for me and I just want to share this with you. Well, that's it for the video guys. I really hope you do find this one helpful. I'll be making more videos on Notion later this year, so make sure you stay tuned for those. But um, I'll make a Notion playlist over here, so whenever I make a new video on Notion, I'll just add them into the playlist. And yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.